rounding mixed numbers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to round a mixed number to a whole number. Here's an example, three and two thirds. All right, are we gonna round it to the three or is it closer to the four? Are we gonna go up to four? So the answer, answer's either gonna be three or four. Well, first of all, we look at the fraction part of it. And we try to work out, well, is two thirds greater than the half? Or is it less than the half? If it's greater than the half, well, we're gonna obviously go up to four. We're gonna add one to three. Now it's just gonna be four. If it's less than a half, we're gonna keep a bit, that's three, okay? So the three and two thirds would be closer to three. So how do we do this? Well, one of the easiest ways is to visualize it, to draw it, all right? So we'll just draw the two thirds. You don't need to draw the three, or just a fraction of two thirds. So you draw a bar of chocolate, say, for instance, Okay, a bar of chocolate and divide that bar into three pieces and you're going to eat two of these pieces and you're going to color in the pieces you're going to eat which would be two three pieces altogether and two pieces you're going to eat so let's color in two pieces now you're going to decide whether this amount is greater than the half how are you we going to do this well we're just going to cut the bar in half where is a half on this bar of chocolate? Well, it's right by this purple X, roughly. We're gonna cut that bar down the middle. There we go. We can see that, yes, two thirds is greater than the half. Simple. So therefore, we would add one to the three and make it four. Okay, two thirds is greater than the half. So therefore, three and two thirds would be four if we were to round it to a whole number. If it was less than a half, we we'll keep it as three. Now there's another way we can look at this, and you know it could confuse some of you, but you might pick it up even better, um, especially those mathematical geniuses out there. But two thirds, well, can we find an equivalent fraction to a half with a denominator of three? Well, um, we could, because a half of three is 1.5, so that'd be 1.5 over three. 1.5 over three really isn't a fraction, but just for this um, situation here, we're just gonna use it. Well, we can look at the 1.5 over three, we could say this is equivalent to one over two. This is a half written in a way with a denominator of three. The question now is, well, 1.5, we can compare that to the numerator 2 over 3, 2. So is 2 greater than 1.5, or is 2 less than 1.5? Well, 2 is greater than 1.5, automatically telling us that it's greater than the half. 2 thirds is greater than the half. So we add 1 to the 3, and we make it 4. 3 and 2 thirds is four when we round it. Let's have another look at another example. Two, 21, and seven over 12. Now, how are we gonna do this? We could do the bar of chocolate method if we want, but I'm gonna jump on to the next one because, you know, finding of seven over 12 is greater than the half it's actually quite easy if we, we do it this method. So, find an equivalent fraction to a half with a denominator of 12. Well, 7 over 12, an equivalent fraction to a half with a denominator of 12 would be 6 over 12. 6 over 12 is equivalent to 1 over 2. Now we look at the 6 and we'll look at the 7. The 7 is greater than the 6, so therefore 7 over 12 is greater. So therefore we add 1 to the 21 and we get 22. So 21 and 7 twelfths rounded to a whole number 
would be 22. It's closer to 22 than 21. Thanks for listening.